Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. Uh, this is Dean Tenney coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement. I'll help you with any question you may have. But if it's a Kaplan question, it's easier because you can just give me the QID and I can bring it up backstage. Uh, you get a 10% discount on the QBank with my Guru 10 discount promo code at checkout. For that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. All right, so let's get started here. An investor purchases 100 shares of Capo stock at 50. So I turned uh, my money into the investment. I spent $5,000 on this investment. At the time of the purchase, the stock was paying a quarterly dividend of 25 cents. So stocks, if they pay, pay quarterly. So quarterly dividend of 25 cents means a uh, dollar. Uh, the dividend increases 5% each year. Now in math, there's always a lot of ways to do different ways to do things. So, you know, as long as you come out with the right answer, uh, I wouldn't worry uh, about, you know, the method you chose as long as you come up with it. Uh, the purchaser sells 100 shares in five years after the purchase of 82. Uh, oh, five years after the purchase, after purchase for 82. Okay, so I bought it at 50 and I sold it at 82. That's my sales proceeds. So I have uh, $32 in uh, gain there. Uh, 100 shares, that's 3200 bucks. Uh, what is the total return for the investor over the five-year holding period? Okay, well, um, the only two ways we make money is from income stream and or price appreciation. Those two things together are called total return. It's what you're making from the investment uh, in terms of price appreciation plus or minus, right? You know, because you could have lost money there, plus whatever you're receiving in the income stream from the investment. You know, no income stream, that means you're doing price appreciation. All right, so we uh, paid $32 for the stock excuse me, or made $32 from the stock, right? Uh, we bought it at 50, we sold it at 82. So that's a $32 uh, gain on the stock, right? There's that appreciation. We bought the stock at 50, we sold the stock at 82, that's 32. Uh, on the dividends, this is the way I would have done it. I would take my dollar in year one and times it by 105%. Because they told me it went up 5% each year. So a dollar times 105, 105% uh, on my calculator is 105 for a total now of $2.05 that I've received uh, from the investment in income stream. A dollar in year one, a dollar five in year two. Uh, then I'm at times a dollar five by 105% again. That gives me the new dividend of a dollar 10. So now I've received, as of year three, $3.15 in uh, income stream dividends. Then I'm going to take the dollar ten. I'm going to times it by 105% because that's what the question says. It's going up 5% each time. So 105% of a dollar ten means the new dividend is dollar fifteen. The dollar fifteen plus the three fifteen. I have now received four dollars and thirty cents in uh, income from this investment. Year five, a dollar twenty-two. Again, a dollar fifteen times one hundred and five percent is a dollar twenty-two. Is the new dividend? So I have now received a total of five dollars and fifty-two cents in income from the investment. So five fifty-two. Whoop, looks like I'm off there. Uh, five fifty-two. So now I say, okay, well, I made thirty-two dollars in price appreciation. I made five dollars and fifty-two dollars uh, fifty-two cents in the income stream, so I've made a total of thirty-seven fifty-two, and I spent uh, fifty dollars per share to make this investment. So now I simply take the thirty-seven fifty-two, I divide it by my original cost basis, what I spent, what I invested to make this thirty-two dollars in price appreciation, and five dollars and fifty-two dollars uh, fifty-two cents in income. And I get the answer to the question, which is my holding period return was 75%. Now, what holding period return means, don't factor in that I made 75%. You know, if I was asked about this annually, I would divide by five. If it didn't say holding period means we're not taking into account how long 
it took us to make this 75 percent uh so i don't know if that's where this test taker was struggling or not but you know maybe that was it um again i get a little worried when people are overdosing on math questions as it relates to 65 66 it can be kind of a siren song and uh, can draw you in so i mean if you have to use your calculator maybe once maybe twice it's mainly understanding inputs and outputs i would not expect you to receive a question where you had to recalculate the dividend for a five-year stream uh, to come up with this five dollars and 52 cents so i think this is more of a kaplan question than the actual question you should certainly know total return and you should certainly know that holding period does not reflect how long it took us to make the money so that would be you know what you need to know okay well remember inch by inch you're 65 or 66 is a cinch yard by yard you're 66 or 65 is hard and i'll see you for the next explication request